It's tradition to ring every church bell in the country to usher in a new monarch. The only problem is, there are 38,000 bells in the UK that need ringing, and only 30,000 people who know how. We've probably had a couple of decades of not really realising that the ringing population is getting older, and there's been a, 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 general, a general loss of, of, of ringers. In this church in Birmingham, practice sessions are in full swing. The group, known as the Brumdingers, are honing their timing and teamwork to keep the bells tolling in tune. It's like it's a challenge every day because you, it's not like you know everything and you're always learning something new. Well, I got introduced to it and I thought it was th fun. But there's not a, a specific reason why I think it's fun. I just think it's fun for some reason. Nice round, sweet Two. Two. In a world of smartphones and streaming, keeping kids interested in ringing bells can take a bit of creativity. So there will be points for difficulty yeah. and more points awarded for execution. But games, like balancing chocolate bars on their heads, seem to be working a treat. You can't just wake up and do it. It's something that will have to learn over time. But once you've learned how to do it, um, you'll really enjoy yourself. Some of the Brumdingers took part in events marking the Queen's Jubilee and her death last year. But the King's coronation will be their biggest gig yet. I mean, actually ringing for the, the Queen's funeral was very significant for a lot of bell ringers, but ringing for a coronation, it, it comes around very seldom, so we're really all looking forward to it. I'm a bit nervous because it's um, like a really special occasion. Now the race is on to find who will join them to ring in the new King. Cameron Nichols, ABC News.